Hello everyone, let's talk about water. Our water bodies are in trouble and it's high time we address this. Did you know that according to a recent report by the Central Groundwater Board, a staggering 440 districts in India now have groundwater contaminated with excess nitrates. This is an increase of 15 districts since 2017. And guess what? This isn't just numbers. This is a serious health hazard, especially for young children. Over 56% of India's districts are grappling with nitrate levels that exceed 45 mg per litre, which is considered unsafe. Why is this happening? A major culprit is the excessive use of synthetic nitrogenous fertilizers in farming. Regions like Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and parts of southern India are particularly affected. And the trend? It's only getting worse in certain areas. What's more alarming is that monsoon rains amplify this contamination. Samples collected after the rains show even higher nitrate levels. But nitrates aren't the only problem. Chloride and uranium contamination are also major concerns in states like Rajasthan, Haryana, Karnataka and Punjab, where over-extraction of groundwater is making matters worse. The report also sheds light on something crucial. While 73% of groundwater blocks are in the safe zone, many others are tethering on the edge. And with groundwater extraction remaining at around 60%, we are not replenishing this vital resource fast enough. So what can we do? It's not at all doom and gloom. We have solutions. First, we need to talk about farming. Shifting to organic farming methods and promoting zero-budget natural farming can drastically reduce the overuse of harmful chemicals. Next, let's look at the crops we grow. Diversifying the types of crops we cultivate can help conserve not just the groundwater but also the health of our soil. Another key step is keeping our water bodies clean. Reducing pollution in our rivers, lakes and ponds should be a top priority. Education is also critical. We must organize awareness programs to teach communities and farmers about the importance of soil and water health. And let's not forget the bigger picture. Protecting our glaciers and controlling emissions to manage global temperatures will directly impact the availability of clean water. Finally, we need to protect the species that help maintain ecological balance because the survival is deeply connected to the health of our natural resources. It's all connected and every step we take counts. Groundwater isn't just a resource, it's a gift to future generations. Let's use it wisely and ensure its sustainability for years to come. Let's ask ourselves, are we doing enough to protect our water bodies, to ensure the health of our resources? And if not, the time to act is now. Together, we can make a difference. Join the movement, conserve water and save the future. Please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.